Wagwan, this is Benji from the band called Skin Dread. Straight out of London, England, man. Now we're not we're from Wales. But anyway, you're watching M Rock. Keep listening, keep rocking, keep watching. Welcome on M-Rock from the Xmas Bash Festival in Munich and welcome to Benji from Skindred. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. Yeah, how, how are you doing? I'm tired but excited to play rock and roll once again. It motivates my very soul and just keeps me young. Okay. And I love rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Skindred has a lot of influences, rap, metal, hardcore, reggae. Mm -hmm. uh, in Germany we call it uh, Raga Metal. What you're doing, <laughs> well, how, how would you call it? I, I, it's rock and roll to me, bro. You know, I mean, the way we look at it, we're, our job is to get the people feeling right. Our yeah. job is to get the people feeling united. Our yeah. job is to get the energy in the place uplifted. And to quote Malcolm X, I will say, we'll do that by any means necessary. If it means using a ragga, boot, ragga groove or a punk rock riff or whatever, whatever, whatever it is, we, we get the place jump in. That's the intention. You released uh, the album Volume about one year ago. Mm -hmm. You had a chart position 29 in the UK and yeah, yeah. number five in the alternative charts in the US. Yeah. Congratulations for Thank that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do, do you see that with content? I, you know, it's nice people buy the record. It's nice people enjoy it. You know, I mean, yeah. someone said to me earlier about because we was nominated for different awards and we won different live awards. Yeah. And they said, what do I think of that? And I said, well, for me personally, the way I look at it, Hi there. The way I look at it, it's no different from someone coming up to me in the street and saying they enjoyed the record. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's nice to have, you know, um, an award to put in the toilet, but that's about it, really. You know, uh, okay. my, my job is rock and roll, bro. I just love being on stage with a good crowd. Okay. Can I say that uh, the secret of your success is your individual style? Because I don't know any other band who has this. Uh, hardcore rap, reggae, mm. dub, yeah, yeah, yeah. mixture. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. I mean, when you look at a band like The Clash, yeah. I, like, I like to think of bands like The Clash and The Police as um, Skindred's godfathers, you know, Skindred's mm -hmm. forefathers. Because yeah. they mix punk rock and they mix reggae, you know, mm -hmm. and that's... I realize that in this day and age, we have got a much wider pool of music to reach into to make people dance with, you know, hence mm -hmm. the, the electronics and stuff like that. But we're just a punk rock reggae band, I guess, so we are. Yeah, and it sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, you make a lot of collaborations and uh, you have a side project called Mass Mental and you, you released a reggae album yeah, one did. year ago. Well, yeah. Where do you take the time from to make so many projects? Well, music is not a chore. Yeah. You enjoy it, you know, it's not yeah. a chore. It's not like, oh my God, I gotta write a record. <laughs> it's fuck yeah, it's like a record, it's good fun. So. When I'm not doing gardening, or cooking, or house maintenance, I'm in my little studio writing and recording, you know? Because I just love it. Oh. I just love it. Okay. Um, some very famous musicians uh, uh, confessed themselves to be a Skindred fan, like um, Lemmy, uh, Max Cavalera, Robert from Metallica, Jonathan Davis from Korn. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? I think that, that to me is, is an award. That's an honor because ah. the, name, the names you just mentioned are people who I 
put on a big high pedal step. Mm -hmm. For them to, to think that they're Skin Red fans, that's, that's a beautiful thing. I'm actually going to see Korn on Sunday with Limp Bizkit, so oh. that should be good fun. Collected um, a few uh, fan questions so right, right. that I want to bring to you now. Hit me, hit me! I'm uh, ready. I'm ready. Uh, the hit fans me. want to know: Do you have any rituals before you go on stage? Well, one thing I'd like the fans to know is that a lot of singers, vocalists, they warm up. I myself do not warm up. You don't. No, so I, I, don't, don't I don't. Need that. I, I just don't. Well, I don't know. If, if I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I've never warmed up. I didn't learn to sing. I just sang. You know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't yeah. have to go to a teacher to teach me to sing. I just sang, it was just there, the vocal cords was there and I could do it. I started as a kid impersonating TV shows, Bugs Bunny, Mickey uh -huh. Mouse, all these different Scooby-Doo. I just, just started doing that and I could do it and it sounded good. So I've never never had no need to, to, to have a warm up ritual. Skin Dread does nothing more than just do this. This is all we all do. Don't leave me, that's what we do. Okay. That's what we do before we go on stage. Everybody gets in a circle and does that. Okay. And it's all good. Uh, some friends want to know what you think about the new uh, band project, um, Prophets of Rage. I don't think very much. Yeah. I don't think very much. I love them individually. Okay. But I don't think a super group really. Sometimes, uh -huh. mm, you know. Okay, that's interesting. I, 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 want, I want Rage Against the Machine with Zach. I want Chuck D with Public Enemy and I want Be Real with mm. a So you, you prefer the originals? I prefer, you can't beat the originals. I mean, it's good, for, I'm glad that they're having fun, uh, uh. but they've not, I have not heard nothing that's made me go, wow, mm -hmm. yet. Maybe they'll do something one day, but Prophets of Rage don't mean much to me. You know, okay. I, I bet they got great t-shirts though. <laughs> I'll wear a t-shirt. <laughs> okay. And uh, some fans want to know, they know that you are a fan from Korn and Metallica. What mm. do you think about the new albums? I've heard them, I really like, uh, an album is something, I mean, very rarely do you put on an album and love every track. Yeah. I've listened to the Metallica album and Hardwire and Moth. They're two songs which I think are amazing. Yeah. Really good, strong Metallica songs. Yeah. The new Korn stuff, I, I, Korn can't do nothing wrong for me. Mm, okay. You know, I mean, they've never, there's nothing that I, I haven't enjoyed. I'm yeah. glad that Head is back in the band and the, the drummer that they have is awesome. I've seen, I've seen them from the crowd. I've seen them from the side of stage yeah. and, I've, and, and they, they just, they just rule. They just rule, con rule. Okay. Um, and now the unavoidable question, do you have plans for a new Skindred album? Always, always making always. plans, always writing, <laughs> we, we always write. Um, but we'd, uh, what, what I would love to be, if it was my world, November, December, next year, we'd be in the studio recording a new album to release a new album, oh, 2018 okay. in April. That would be my perfect world. So thank you very much for this interview. Thank you, sir. Have a nice show tonight. Excellent. This was Benji from Skindred on M-Rock. That was me on M-Rock from Skindred. Peace. <laughs>